Good afternoon, everybody. It's always difficult to follow people like uh, Barry and Steve, but what I thought I would do was remind ourselves that initially LEPS were set up, set up as competitive organisations. We were all competing for a pot and trying to put together economic plans that were either greater or even more great than the, our neighbours. And I think LEPS have taught a lot of people, not least government, that actually collaboration is also incredibly important and that we don't stop at our own uh, geographical boundaries. And I think through the work that we've all been doing, we've created a bigger consensus around, for example, in the Midlands, the Midlands engine and the sense of strength that now is attached to that. And it's on that sort of theme that I thought I'd uh, just mention some um, endeavours that, that other LEPs have been doing in our area. And I thought I'd start with our friends in Leicester and Leicestershire, who are very good friends of ours in D2N2, which I will remind you does stand for Derby, Derbyshire, Nottingham and Nottinghamshire, not for anything other than that. And in Leicester, I know that uh, the partnership there has put together a phenomenal amount of activity around um, the Donington race circuit and indeed around the East Midlands Airport, which is a great opportunity for not just the East Midlands, but joining up the whole of the Midlands too. But, you know, bringing together, as I know they have, the headquarters of the Formula E World Club Championship and the businesses that surround that is a real coup for our area. And that could not have happened without the energy that I know the partnership put into that and the very speedy response to some of the funding challenges that were necessary. Without that LEP there, I very much doubt that that business now would be created in our area and we look forward to even greater success there. And if I look further to the east of uh, Derby and Derbyshire and you look at the greater Lincolnshire LEP, the work that I know they have done around the Bull Technology Centre, which I saw scrolling through at the beginning of this, all about creating um, a science and innovation park to drive business forward. Again, I, I do know from talking to Ursula, would never have happened without the let driving that forward. And it's that sense of energy that uh, the private and public sector can produce when it works in harmony that I think is unique to the LEP model. In D2N2, uh, we realised about four years ago when we were putting our uh, SEP, our Strategic Economic Plan, together that had to go to government for ratification and then they would give us some funds to, to allow us to drive the business forward, this local enterprise partnership thing, that what we realised was in our area there are some incredible businesses. You can name Boots, you can name Bombardier, you can name Rolls-Royce, you can name Tom uh, Toyota, you can name a whole host of businesses. But in the Nottinghamshire area, and Nottingham generally, there's phenomenal life science opportunities. And what we realised was that a business like BioCity could be expanded exponentially, actually, and that what we wanted to see was some real growth around that sector. Uh, so we worked very hard at creating um, a life science sectoral plan that involved an awful lot of businesses coming together, private sector discussing what was really required, and a £30 million extension of BioCity Opens actually within the next couple of weeks or so. So tremendous business growth. Just as Charlotte uh, outlined from Goldman Sachs' perspective, recognising these high-growth, smaller companies that really can be the engine of growth for the UK. We continue to believe that collaboration is the way forward. We continue to believe that partnership is the way forward and we're determined in our own area to ensure that 19 local authorities, which seem con continually to go through some form of election or other, um, can remain focused on what the economic drivers are for all of our area rather than simply their local geographies too. And I don't, uh, I, I don't forget here the role of the charities and the third sector in all of that, the social enterprises, which actually are massively important to creating what we believe is the real outcome, which is quality employment, quality lifestyles, and a future for everyone. That is really critical to all LEPs right now, and especially so in D20.